Hey, I'm Matt from MasterSketchup.com, and I am happy to announce the Sonder Detail Scrapbooks available for purchase exclusively on MasterSketchup.com. So you can go to SketchupDetails.com to be forwarded to the landing page and uh, check them out for yourself. So the Sonder Detail Scrapbooks are a library of over 480 annotated fully customizable details that you can drag and drop into your layout documents to quickly produce beautiful detail sheets for your construction documents. But in this video, I wanna show you how these can save you a ton of time, not only in building your detail sheets, but implementing a library like this can significantly speed up your workflow on your entire project because it enables you to model at a much lower level of detail. So that means you're gonna complete your projects faster and you're gonna be able to make changes to your model much faster as well. So let's go ahead and explore the Sonder Detail scrapbooks and I will show you exactly what I mean. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a SketchUp model actually to start. So first I wanna show you um, this sample project from architect Nick Sonder. If you haven't heard of Nick Sonder yet, he's an architect out of Truckee, California, who uses SketchUp and layout exclusively in his practice. And he's also the co-author of SketchUp and Layout for Architecture, which is a book that we uh, wrote together back in 2016. So this is actually the uh, sample model that's included when you purchase the book, which by the way, if you wanna check that out, you can go to sketchupbook.com to check out the book and um, get this model along with it. But what I want you to notice in this model is there, there's actually a very low level of detail in the model. So what I mean by that is if we look at the structure, so I'll just hide the, the second floor for a second, and let's just look at the wall structure. So the wall structure is very simple. It's, it's literally, literally just extruded um, rectangles. You know, these are all solid, um, you know, look at an X-ray view here. These are all just solid shapes that are extruded. So by keeping, by keeping this model really lightweight, that makes it really easy to edit. But how do we illustrate details and assemblies in our construction documents when there's not enough detail in the model to do so. So that's where the Sonder detail scrapbooks come in. So let's go ahead and move over to layout and take a look at an example um, detail sheet. So each of these details show a specific assembly and are typically illustrated in a stepped fashion. So if we look at this detail, for instance, we can see the trim board down here with a drip cap uh, flashing on top of it. And we see the tape that is adhering that, that drip uh, flashing to the uh, air barrier, uh, so on and so forth. So the model that's being shown here is made specifically to illustrate an assembly. So this doesn't actually exist in the main project model. This exists as a separate detail model um, that is used specifically to show this high level of detail assembly. And again, so if we look at the outside corner here, we can see we have some studs, we have insulation, we have the sheathing, the air barrier, the trim, the siding. And so if we compare that to the SketchUp model, it's a much simpler representation of that same uh, area. And uh, so we do, in the model, we do include, we do recommend including, you know, things like trim, some, some really substantial details that visually are important, you wanna include, um, but you don't have to model all the insulation and studs and all of that stuff and, and kind of the fine details of the trim. So here's another example of an inside corner. And here's an example of a perimeter drain at retaining wall. So you have, you can do foundation details, 
um, and, and pretty much any detail you need to make, you can, you can do uh, using this method. All right, so let me show you how this detail sheet was made. So when you purchase the Sonder Detail Scrapbooks library, you're gonna get this example template sheet. Um, and this is just designed to enable you to more easily align and uh, lay out the, the various details that you bring in. So starting from this blank sheet, we're gonna go ahead and build uh, a, a detail sheet. So when you install the scrapbooks library, the, the Sonder Detail Scrapbooks library, which is, is really easy, uh, whether you're on Mac or PC, um, on PC, and I apologize that this is off screen, you just go to edit preferences and go to the folders uh, option here. And then you just click the plus sign and you just select the folder that has the scrapbooks in it. So when you when you download it, it's gonna be in a zip file and you just uncompress it and save it on your computer somewhere. And once you do that, layout is going to display all of the different scrapbooks in this dropdown. So they're all organized with this prefix SD, uh, which stands for Sonder Detail, just so it's visually easy to identify which ones are um, part of the Sonder Detail scrapbook library. These ones up here are just your de your default scrapbooks that are included with um, all installations of layout. Oh, by the way, if you're on Mac, I think you just click on the layout name and then go to um, preferences and you can get to the same, the same place to add the scrapbooks there. So once they're installed, you just navigate to the scrapbook that you want to explore and then you can tab through each page using these buttons right here. So each scrapbook is gonna have multiple pages with multiple details on it. And once you want, once you find a detail that you wanna bring in, you just click and drag and drop it on the page. Now the inference system doesn't work when you're dragging in things from the scrapbook. So then you just click it one more time and drag it until it snaps to this grid. So this template has a couple of features. So it has this, this grid layer that has these boxes on it. So that helps you snap the detail um, just as, as I just showed you. Uh, in addition to that, all of the detail labels are already uh, laid out and numbered accurately and even the, the page name here, this is actually an auto text, which uses a, a prefix, a uh, custom auto text called page set. And then at the end it adds the page number. So you can go up to the auto text and find the page set and you can change this to whatever you want. So if you just want this to be a1, you change that, and now all of these details are gonna reflect that new page set uh, prefix that you just configured. And so when you drag a detail onto the page, you'll notice that the title of the detail is, is uh, brought in as well. And so that's positioned to line up perfectly with the detail label. And once you're all done building the, the detail page, all you have to do is hide the, the guides uh, layer and that will hide all of those boxes. And then, you know, if you have extra labels like this that you don't need, you can just highlight those and switch those to the, the guides layer as well, um, just to temporarily hide them. And it's nice um, to keep them around in the future if you end up building more, if you end up adding more details down the road. All right, so again, you know, instead of having these viewports being linked to your main project model, they're actually referencing separate models that were purposefully built to illustrate various assemblies. And if you right click on any one of these viewports, you can open the model in SketchUp and actually edit it and customize it however you want. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these uh, SketchUp models. So I'll just right click and open with SketchUp. All right, so this model has several different siding options and we can tab through some of these scenes uh, in order to see all of the different 
uh, configurations that are built into this uh, particular model. So you can see several different siding options and interior uh, jip board options. We have shingle, we have horizontal, uh, looks like fiber cement board. And if we go to the working model, all of those those tags are visible. So that's why it looks like you know a mess right here because we we're showing every single one of these options. But you can actually you know manually uh, turn these off uh, in order to configure this how however you want. Now, most configurations will already have a scene configured and a detail template created in the scrapbook, so you can just drag and drop it right into layout. But you also have the ability to modify the model and add different objects however you need uh, to fit your projects. You know, if there's any custom situation, um, you can always just add that uh, into the model and save it. And you can you have the ability to either update your your base library where you know it'll it'll make that change to the library so every time you reference that that detail or that scrapbook it'll it'll be changed every single time or you can make it project specific and just make a change uh in that one project and one thing that's great about layout uh 2020 is the ability to toggle tag visibility um, from right inside of layout. So let me hide this. Um, so what I mean by that is, you know, right now we have the shingles uh, visible, but we can easily turn that off and, and you know, change it to horizontal siding. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility built right into layout, being able to configure these details on the fly without having to, you know, look for the specific scene that's pre-configured. So you have a lot of flexibility in that respect. And another really cool feature is the fact that the labels are using auto text. So since we changed the siding to horizontal, uh, we need to update this label. Now, instead of having to manually type it in, we can just uh, reattach this label to this new group and then we can edit the text to pull the name of this object uh, in order to display it so that's actually true for all of the, the labels on all of the details so all of the sketchup models are labeled if we look at the outliner you know all of the the objects are labeled for you to be able to extract that auto text and display it really easily. Now, the secondary benefit to using uh, this detail library is how lightweight your project model becomes by removing all of this additional unnecessary detail from the model. So your model becomes very easy to work with and it makes it really fast for you to implement design ideas. So this kind of gets into what we covered in the book, SketchUp and Layout for Architecture. Um, again, this walks through Nick Saunders' entire process of using SketchUp and Layout, just native SketchUp and Layout. He doesn't even use a lot of extensions or plugins. Um, so again, if you want to check this book out, if, if you haven't picked it up already, you can go to sketchupbook.com. Now, if you want to check out a preview of all of the scrapbooks, you can go to the website scrapbookdetails.com that'll forward you to this page and you can scroll down to the bottom and expand these and preview all of the the different scrapbooks that are included in the um in the in the library so this library represents over 10 years worth of work uh from nick saunder so this is his personal collection that he's built up uh, using SketchUp and Layout in his practice over 10 years. So you're going to be downloading over, it's like 720 megabytes of a compressed folder. So it's a really large library. All right, if you're interested in purchasing the Sonder Detail scrapbooks, you can go to sketchupdetails.com to be forwarded to the sales page or click the link in the description below. That's all I have for you in this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.